Today we are talking about the Chattanooga Intellect Mobile 2 Ultrasound or Combo Unit and it's regarding an error that you may get on your screen that looks like this talking about coupling detection failed. So I'm going to start from the beginning and I'm going to walk through the procedure to avoid this. If we go into the ultrasound procedure and I set up a treatment, let's say we're going to have this is our intensity, and I'm gonna change the frequency to one megahertz. Now, most of us, we set up the treatment and we will put the applicator in the gel, and then we will press start. On this machine, when you do this, you may see this error pop up. The reason for that is the machine has a self-diagnostic feature that it must test the, when you start the treatment, it must test the ultrasound output first, and if it's already coupled in gel, you will get this error. So the way to do the procedure properly, I'm gonna exit this treatment, and I'm gonna start over, and I'm gonna put the applicator in the holder like this, and now I'm gonna set up my treatment again. So I'm gonna set it at the same settings, one uh, watt per centimeter. I'm gonna put it down to three megahertz, and I'm gonna press start before I put any gel on the applicator. You will hear it beeping and you will see this flashing light and it has now completed its test. You can take it out and put it in the gel and you'll see the beeping stops and the flashing stops. And now you'll see that the timer is running so your treatment is working properly. So the coupling feature has done its self-diagnostic. It's working correctly and now you can begin your treatment. If I lose contact during the treatment, you'll see it flashes and, it, and the machine will beep at you, but there's no error message. As soon as I get back in proper contact, the treatment resumes again. So the, the technique to avoid that error is to leave the applicator in the holder, start your treatment, let it complete its self-diagnostic test, which takes only about one second, and then put your applicator on the patient in the gel and you should avoid that error altogether. Thank you.